Good morning, grade 10 students. So now that we are done with our first lesson and our second unit, we are now going to proceed with our uh, second lesson, which is all about the synthetic division. And here are our learning targets for this lesson. First, we are going to define what synthetic division is and how we can use synthetic division. And we are also going to perform division of polynomials uh, using long division and synthetic division. So before we proceed with our uh, synthetic division on how we can or how we can perform synthetic division. So review muna natin kung paano nga ba uh, yung process ng long division. So as for our example, we are going to find the quotient when 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 is divided by x plus 2. And we are going to use long division. So as we can see in our uh, polynomial, so it is a polynomial since uh, wala naman siyang... Uh, wala siyang radicals, o yung walang variable na nasa loob ng radicals, walang negative exponents, ayan pa. So, uh, we, first step is we are going to set up the division problem. So kagaya po na pag-divide natin ng integer, so ganun din po yung pag-set up natin ng division problem. So remember, uh, na dapat po yung ating polynomial ay naka-descending order according to their exponents. Next, we are going to divide uh, 2x cubed divided by x, and it will give us 2x squared. So, tingnan po natin kung ano yung uh, first term ng ating uh, binomial and ng ating uh, polynomial. So, in this given example, so ating first term is 2x cubed, and then it divide po natin siya sa x, since ang first term po ng ating binomial or ng divisor natin is x. Then, our answer uh, will be 2x squared. So, yung 2x squared po, ilalagay po natin dun sa taas kasi siya po yung part ng ating quotient. Afterwards, we are going to multiply po yung 2x squared dun sa ating binomial. So, we have 2x squared times x. It will give us 2x cubed. Then, 2x squared times 2 will give us 4x squared. So, subtract po natin yung ating uh, nakuhang sagot. So, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, it is 0. And then, negative 3x squared minus 4x squared. So, our answer will be negative 7x squared. Kasi po, laging tandaan na, we are going to uh, change the sign of our uh, minuend. So, it will be negative 3x squared plus negative 4x squared. Kaya po, ang naging sagot natin ay negative 7x squared. And then we are going to bring down naman po our next uh, term, which is 4x. Ayan. Bring down the next term. Then it, uh, repeat process po tayo. So yung first term natin, we have negative 7x squared. It divide po ulit natin siya dun sa first term ng ating binomial, which is x. So negative 7x squared divided by x will give us negative 7x. So, ilalagay po ulit natin siya doon sa taas, doon sa quotient na part. Then, multiply po ulit natin yung negative 7x doon sa ating binomial or doon sa ating divisor. So, negative 7x times x will give us negative 7x squared. And negative 7x times 2 will give us positive 14x. And then, again po, subtract ulit natin, change the sign of our uh, minuend. So, it will give us negative 7x squared plus 7x squared. And 4x plus negative 14x. Ayan po. Okay, so our answer now is 18x. And then bring down 5 po ulit. Kasi yun yung ating next term. Ayan, so same uh, repeat process po ulit tayo. Yung ating first term, which is 18x, i-divide po ulit natin sa x, it will give us an answer of 18. Then yung 18 po, ilalagay natin doon sa ating uh, quotient part. And then multiply ulit natin yung 18 doon sa uh, divisor natin na x plus 2, and it will give us negative 18x plus 36. So kapag sinumtrack po ulit natin, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng remainder na negative 31. So what will be now our uh, product or quotient rather? So we are going to write the answer in the form p of x or yung polynomial or p of x is equal to d of x or the divisor times 
Q of X or the quotient plus the remainder. So for example, this will be our final answer for uh, this given example. So P of X is equal to X plus 2 since siya po yung ating divisor. And then yung nakuha nating sagot dun sa taas, siya yung ating magiging quotient. So it will be 2X squared minus 7X plus 18. And then do not forget po our um, remainder. So bakit po siya naging negative 31 or minus 31? Kasi po ang ating remainder na nakuha ay negative 31. Okay, so yun po yung ating uh, long division. And then try answering po our prop, uh, practice exercises.